How's it going people, Jack here and welcome back to the Chill Zone and if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Chill Zone. So over the last couple of months, I have been really uh, trying to pull myself together to get back into Monster Hunter world because there is another Monster Hunter coming last, next year, not last year, next year, which is Monster Hunter Wild and uh, I'm actually very much looking forward to that one and so to prepare for it, getting back into the game would have made a lot more sense, but I spent too much time playing PAL world and other titles that uh, I just couldn't get the time to do it. However, during a uh, last stream, there was a nice uh, little segment where we were watching some Game Ranks video where somebody mentioned an incident, or I guess not quite an incident, a drama that was going on with a certain YouTuber called Queen Pones a lot that had faked her slaying of Alatreon with blindfold. And first and foremost, doing that already sounds sus as hell. Like, I've seen people try to do a lot of blindfold runs before. Mario 64, a freaking Guitar Hero, which is granted one of those what you could imagine that uh, you know your chords, <laughs> chords, but that you know the song good enough that you could muster the ability to to hit the notes at the right moment because you kind of only need to rely on your auditory senses and then of course uh, hitting things at the right time. So granted, Guitar Hero, or if you were to extend that, Rocksmith, are one of those games that you perhaps could get away with a blindfold run. Now, I do not know, there are some experts out there who might have done that with Elden Ring or sling some bosses in super unconventional ways, but being a master at something and then trying to do it blind do not always translate and I think it's damn near impossible. But I guess that this streamer was trying to prove the whole world wrong and she kind of failed. And the reason as to why I know that she actually failed was that as I was looking for um, the, the, the topic, in fact, I got some clips shown from freaking Asmon Gold, of course, who's invading every single people's feed uh, <laughs> with uh, a clip of her having like a very thin blindfold. And the video that he was watching was from this guy called Carl Jobs. Now, I have seen some video from Carl before, uh, mainly on uh, some of the completionist stuff that were uh, very intriguing for the last past month. And of course, on Billy Mitchell, perhaps the biggest liar in gaming. Now, that being said, he has a latest video here uh, that uh, I want to watch, so let's get into this. Hello, you absolute legends. Last month, the streamer known as Queen Pones a lot pretended to beat the dragon Alatreon wearing a blindfold. This garnered her quite a lot of attention, but when people experienced with the game she was playing and those experienced in blindfold speedrunning saw her video, they realized immediately it was fake. Unfortunately, Queen Pones a lot's effort of faking a blindfolded run was extremely poor. Not only was she using strategies that are just flat out impossible to use while blind, <laughs> but the blindfold she was using was so thin yeah. and obviously fake. <laughs> Even we, the viewers, could see straight through it. Soon enough, people were making videos calling out her fake run, and Queen Pones a lot was beginning to get quite a lot of negative attention. As it turns out, the public doesn't appreciate liars and people who try to fake gaming accomplishments for clout. After receiving backlash, Queen Pones a lot fought back, announcing that she was going to do another blindfolded run of the Dragon Alatreon, but this time with more proof. On the 14th of February, she went live, and she was stacked to the gills with ironclad anti-cheat measurements. This time she wore a genuine blindfold. She had a hand cam. She had input display. She had paper covering up her monitors. <laughs> and she was live. Surely b b Big question. Why do you need to do this? Like, I understand clout, but why go through the high risk, high reward mentality when you are quite literally an expert at the thing? She already killed it over 4,000 times. There's literally no need for you to go through the hurdle of trying to prove anything to anybody. What do you get out of that? Like, do, do, do you really want to risk it to be the next sniper wolf? There was absolutely no way she could cheat. And with all of this in place, she did it again. She beat the dragon Alatreon in front of hundreds of people. She was so convincing that it seemed like everyone now believed she was legit. But anyway, yeah, it looks like the Altreon blindfold kill was actually real. It did actually happen. 
Maybe we got it wrong. Maybe Queen Ponzalot was just more gifted than everyone else, and she could really do things blindfolded that no one else could. Or maybe, just maybe, she just cheated again, and we don't know how. Honestly, when I first saw her new successful attempt, I didn't know how she did it. But I did know two things. Yeah. One, her gameplay was impossible to do blind. And two, people always underestimate the autistic power of speedrunners. <laughs> I was committed to finding out how this was done. I envisioned sophisticated cheating methods that would be impossible to detect. I figured that whatever Queen Ponzalot did must be pretty genius to fool everyone so easily. For three days, I meticulously studied her video. I worked with experts to clarify game mechanics. I spoke with programmers to see if we could replicate her run using advanced software. But I was getting nowhere. And So, uh, from my understanding, the reason as to why Asman was the first one to be exposed to this was that she posted the thing on his subreddit, right? Which is, I mean... If you're looking for a way to like, uh, I know that YouTube is not like uh, so happy with this word, but like straight up career suicide, then do just that. Especially when you're lying. Like, okay, not to be kind of insensitive to the guy, but I, I know that it doesn't take much to rile him up. To, to really uh, get him going about a certain topic. And that's fine, okay? There's an audience for that and that's cool. The problem, however, is that amongst those people in that audience are those who are a little bit more, you know, inquisitive when it comes to uh, things like that. They will go and question if what they're seeing is true or not. And they are likely to be the one to end your whole career. Then, after 72 hours of running into dead ends, I finally saw it. I noticed that Queen Ponzalot did something that gave everything away. The curtain was lifted, and the magician had exposed her secrets. I had the smoking gun, and within 20 minutes of seeing Queen Ponzalot do this one thing, we knew exactly how she did it, and we had the proof. Does she have three monitors? Is that... <laughs> okay, look. I like these kind of things because it got me to become freaking Sherlock here. But hold on. Let's go back. Right, there's... One, two. She's not looking at the camera. It's not like when I'm doing this. My camera is right there. I have my tiny screen that I tend to use to write things on, the touch one, and I have an ultra wide here. Which is why I often, when I'm playing game live, I tend to play it on my smaller monitor when the freaking OBS does not detect the game. So, <laughs> yeah, you need, like, we cannot get the setup here. So if this third screen isn't covered, then perhaps she's able to peek somehow. I don't know. As it turns out, I was on the wrong track the entire time. I thought the method she used must have been smart because no one detected it. But in the end, it turned out to be the simplest and dumbest method I could have imagined. Please get yourself a PC you deserve. The link to Starforge Systems will be in the description. Go and check out their PCs today. In my previous video, we looked at Queen Ponzalot's earlier blindfolded runs, where she used a really thin, transparent sheet of material to cover her eyes and pretended that she couldn't see. I like in how she even case, has a hard so rate monitor. Because everyone can just use their own eyes and see that her blindfold was fake. As far as her gameplay was concerned, it's also really obvious that she can see as well. She claims to use the audio to know exactly where the monster is, <laughs> but years of blindfolded competition tells us that this is impossible. Wait. Oh no. <laughs> she claimed to go with a daredevil method, right? <laughs> I'm using echolocation here <laughs> to, <laughs> to spot the sound and move accordingly. I also highlighted that beyond knowing where the monster is, it's also impossible to detect whether you are looking up or down. So if you see a blindfolded player using their mouse to look up or down, you know they can see. In her latest attempt, we see all of those impossible gameplay mechanics in action once again. And in some cases, it's even worse. She will access the menu in order to use items and mess up the camera, and then immediately and perfectly fix it. She even does this when the dragon is not making any sounds at all, so there is quite literally no audio cue, like in this example.
Beyond the impossible vertical movement, we also see crazy head tracking in real time that is just laughable. Wow. I mean, just look at this gameplay. Yeah, how would she know? In the last clip, I she's can't rolling underneath. I'm sorry, I can't remember the last time that I faced Alotreon how it went. But to my knowledge, it isn't that easy to be able to track the sound all the way to its mouth, to know exactly where it goes, to know where the mouth is located. Like, of course, there's a certain approximation, but nah, nah. Beneath the dragon, keeping the camera on its head perfectly as she does it. It's hilarious. And remember, looking up does nothing. It doesn't let her hit any higher. So there is literally no point in doing this other than to see the head. Which makes no sense if you're blindfolded. All of this seems very confusing because she appears to be wearing a proper blindfold. And as I mentioned before, her monitors are even covered up with paper, meaning that she can't see them anyway. This led me to consider other ways she might be playing without seeing. Being. One way would be some kind of aimbot. Aimbots are common in many games, so it's possible if she had some kind of sophisticated software, <laughs> it could help her aim on the dragon. She got those this would solve the problem of locating the dragon and also solve the vertical aiming issue. However, this wouldn't solve all of the problems, like being able to dodge attacks that don't have sound cues. In one instance, she accidentally hooks onto Alatreon's leg instead of its head and immediately releases before targeting the head again. But there is no audible difference between yeah. hooking onto the leg or the head, so there is no way she should have known. In order to solve issues like this, I theorized that maybe someone was talking to her and giving her instructions through Discord. With someone in her ear and some aim assist software, you might be able to play like this without sight. Sure. I reached out to Monster Hunter World expert TSC, who actually developed the first known aimbot of the game. According to him, if oh, she was I'm using sorry. an aimbot to achieve this effect, it would require software far more sophisticated than anyone in the community currently possesses. It seems unlikely that this was the method. Right. The most common theory I saw online was that she was using pre-recorded gameplay. Maybe she beat Alatreon earlier and just played that gameplay footage during her live stream. Oh no, but that doesn't fit with the input then. Or if those two are pre-recorded. And her hands as well. Then, oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's way too much of a hassle. It's a weird thing. It's just like, it, it makes me think of high school. And to a certain degree, also university. Like, people will go out of their way, work harder than they needed to, to cheat, rather than to actually do the thing that they were set out to do. Because if you went through all of those hoops to just achieve that, God damn, that's all I'm saying. Something like this has been done before. I even made a video about a speedrunner who cheated by using a pre-recorded run during a live charity marathon. However, I didn't believe this was the case. Queen Ponzalot had two cameras and they were both completely in sync. I studied her mouse movements and they always seemed to match what was going on in the game. And so did her keyboard inputs. Her mouse sensitivity was very high, so a lot of movements are hard to see, but I couldn't see any discrepancies. It did appear as though she was actually playing. In my opinion, this also ruled out the idea that someone else was playing instead of her. One other thing people noticed, and trust me, we noticed this immediately too, is that after Queen Ponzalot killed Alatreon and lifted the paper up, there was something on her screen. And it seemed like she noticed this and moved the paper back down to try and hide it. I pause it. What is on the screen? And what is on the thing? Is Monster Hunter on her screen? And then watch what happens. She puts it back down to cover. She's quickly trying to hide it. And then the game comes back up on screen. This is the Windows Start menu. And the reason it appeared is because she hit the Windows key. In fact, ah. she hits the Windows key multiple times throughout her blindfolded attempts. This bugged the hell out of us. And we had no idea why she was doing it. 
Could this have something to do with how she was faking her gameplay? At seemingly random times, she would hit the Windows key, which would tap her out of the game. This caused her inputs to stop working. She would then need to hit the escape key to try and get back into the game. Watch this clip where she hits the Windows key and then spends 10 seconds trying to get the game to work again. We'll do an old tab to get back into the game. This is bizarre, and she does this multiple times without ever mentioning it. She acts as if this really weird thing that she is doing isn't happening, which is obviously really suspicious. Ultimately, it seems like this is some kind of unrelated tech issue that she was having with her eye tracker. Multiple times before she even started her blindfolded attempts, we can see her hitting the Windows key in order to fix something. She even mentioned it earlier in her stream. I think this tech issue has nothing to do with her blindfolded attempts. Okay. But an important question to ask is how did she know there was a problem? She was blindfolded and couldn't see, but knew there was some kind of technical issue and always tried to fix it. And she did all of this without looking and without saying anything to her audience. It's all really bizarre. In the end, however, after discovering the truth, I realized this was a giant red herring. After several days of brainstorming, I was beginning to run out of ideas. But then, in the middle of the night, I revisited a question I had from day one. There was something that Queen Pones a lot did that was really strange and I couldn't figure it out. Immediately after she covers her main monitor with paper, while she is attempting to distract her viewers, she holds down her left mouse button for 10 seconds. This was actually one of the very first things I noticed when investigating her run, but I never had an answer as to why she did it. Normally, when you hold a mouse button down for a few seconds, it activates something. And this was one of the reasons I thought she was using some kind of software. Oh, sorry. But I had overlooked something that was so obvious and so simple, I I can't believe I didn't see it immediately. Once I understood what she was doing, it was game over. Holding her mouse button down for 10 seconds told me everything I needed to know. It unlocked all of her secrets. It revealed to me that there was in fact a third hidden monitor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I Queen said the start. wants us to believe that she only has two monitors. When she covers them up, she makes sure to verbally state that her monitor on the left has all of her other stuff on it. To the main attraction as we get our duct tape for our main monitor because, yeah. There's the other one. So you guys know. There it is. With all my other stuff on it. Boom. This is a lie. In truth, she has a third monitor to her right, off camera. Yeah. Before she covers it with paper, we can see that her main monitor has her OBS streaming software on it. This shows her gameplay, and it also has her Twitch chat docked into it as well. One thing that struck me as odd is how she decided to wait until her monitors were covered with paper before setting everything up. This makes no logical sense, and she even tries to act like this wasn't on purpose. No problem. All right, uh... Alright, cool. Now, alright. Oh god, I'm sorry, I didn't think this through. But the reason she did this is because she had to ensure that what she did was hidden from the camera. This is where the beauty of the input display comes in, because we can still see everything she's doing. But it's obvious she is trying to hide it. What she does next is very sneaky. She lifts up the paper on her main monitor, which has her OBS on it. She clicks on her OBS window and holds down the mouse key. Then, while she is holding down the mouse button, she distracts her audience with verbal diarrhea. Ah, uh, to shift That's it to the other it. one so that the gameplay can be there. You know? Okay. And it's the way that it has to be. Yeah. And, uh... Next is the key that I should have seen immediately. What is the most common thing you do when you hold down your mouse button? You drag windows. Yeah. While talking, she drags her OBS to her hidden monitor on the right. We can confirm this with the input display. We can see her hand move it to the right, and she even looks at her hidden monitor on the right when she does this. Yep. <laughs> I was noticing the thing from the start, like, what is she looking at? You know? And it's the way that it has to be. 
And, uh... She will use her OBS on the hidden monitor to see the game. Immediately after this, she pretends to move the OBS to her left monitor. Alright, uh... Move that over. Okay. Ugh, I'm sorry. She moves her mouse to the left, she looks to the left, and she even says that she's moving something. However, we can see on the input display, she doesn't even click her mouse. Girl, oh, man, you're even bad at lying. Why are you doing this to yourself? Come on. Now, despite the fact her monitor on the right is supposed to be a secret, she cannot help but stare at it constantly. She even responds to this exact message in chat while looking at it. However, mid-sentence, she realizes how stupid this is and stops talking. Oh yeah, everything, everything will be unedited. No. She responded to chat. No. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> Jesus Christ! After panicking Apologies. and thinking for 10 seconds, she tries to fix this mistake and pretends she read the message from the monitor on the left. Oh God. Oh yeah. Everything, everything will be unedited. Unedited. The funny thing about Queen Pongelot reading chat from her hidden monitor is that it's completely unnecessary. There is no yeah. need to have chat there in the first place, and it just causes her to constantly look at it, making it obvious it's there. Yeah. And it also causes her to screw up by responding to it. I'm guessing she just couldn't help herself, and she really wanted to see all of her fans talking about her as she was playing. So we know that she has a monitor to her right, but Cloud how does brain. she see it? Well, the secret is in how she's wearing her blindfold. She's wearing it very, very loosely. It's barely able to stay on her face, and on top of that, she wears it very high. This is not how you're supposed to wear a blindfold. Anyone who owns a blindfold like this knows you don't wear them loose, you wear them tight. tight. If you wear them loose, light gets in. By wearing her blindfold loose, she can see through a small gap between her nose and the blindfold. Right. The game of Juzzy has already replicated her exact see. setup. In his case, he showed his two monitors which he turned off, he wore a proper blindfold, he used the exact same input display, and he had a hand cam. Right now, I'm wearing the blindfold, right? But I can see out the gaps between my nose and my blindfold, and if I wore it even looser, I'd be able to see out the sides left and right in my peripheral vision. Then, the next step to the trick is the fact that, another thing you guys noticed, there's two monitors here, right? But, they're not the only ones. Yep. And the third monitor on my left. On top of wearing her blindfold very loosely, Queen Ponzalot also sits back in her chair and looks up in an unnatural way. This is to get a better viewing angle. Before her attempt with the new blindfold, she had spent around one hour playing with her old blindfold over multiple days and weeks. And for that entire time, she always sat like this. She was leaning forward and looking directly in front of her. This is because while her blindfold was partially obscuring her sight, she could see straight yeah, through it and was looking at the monitor directly in front do of like her. This. With the new blindfold, she <laughs> can't see through the front of it, which is why she has now completely changed her sitting position so she can see down and to the side. Come this on. is not a normal way to sit, and world-class blindfold speedrunner Bubsia confirms that when you see someone sitting in this position, it's a giant red flag. And uh, if I curve up even more, but yeah, that's already you looking see. very sus, I guess, if you, if you sit there like your neck breaking. Uh, if I sit like this, for example, I can see 
half of my monitor. Um, I can I can see OBS right now, literally. I can see the volume meters going up. I can see the picture. If I turn a bit, I can see the other monitor. And it's as simple as that. There is a hidden monitor on the right and she is playing through her OBS, which she discreetly moved to it. I can't believe I spent so much time researching aimbots when the solution was so stupidly basic. And while it's so easy just to say there was a hidden monitor, which some people did, it's yeah. an entirely different story to provide concrete evidence. I know. The fact that we can literally see her move OBS to the hidden screen, the fact that she reads chat from it, the fact that she stares at it constantly, the fact that she wears it's her enough. blindfold so loosely, and the fact that she sits in such a weird position, all prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this is the way she cheated. But here is my favorite part. After she has killed Alatreon, and while paper is still covering her screen, she looks directly at the hidden monitor and moves the camera around perfectly. It's like she's not even trying to hide it. And beyond all of this, the simple fact remains, the way she played the game is impossible to do if you can't see. Oh, no. Now let's be real for a second. At the end of the day, this entire thing isn't a big deal. This is just silly, fun internet drama, and it's just really interesting to learn how Queen Pondalot faked her blindfold runs. Personally, I'm not emotionally charged about this. I just love trying to expose video game fraudsters because I enjoy it. This yeah. whole back and forth is honestly really entertaining. I mean, she she literally gets nothing out of it. That's the thing. That's the thing that's kind of like, it's fun for us to see somebody's goofing around like this, but like, wh what are you trying to get at? Despite the fact that people are going to ridicule you. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But make no mistake, her behavior is not healthy, and it's not a good thing. There are gamers who spend thousands of hours legitimately trying to do amazing things without the ability to see. Blindfolded gaming takes a lot of hard work, and it takes a lot oh, of ingenuity. Of and Ring. Queen Pones a lot keeps taking a giant steaming dump on all of their efforts. That's the because thing. of her actions, people are going to trust the accomplishments of real gamers even less. Skepticism will disproportionately rise, and the public will become even more cynical. But and I'm not even going to... Okay, I'm getting into that but like obviously female gamers are not a monolith right their opinions are as diverse as the boys is the boys is the boys english is hard no but the fact that she's doing this is going to make sure that even less female gamers are trusted because uh, unfortunately that's the way that a lot of people are going to see it she's not just be going to be considered as that one blindfold gamer that lost it's gonna be that one blindfold female gamer that lied but on the flip side, maybe that's a good thing. The amount of people who threw common sense to the wayside and took her runs at face value is pretty shocking. Yeah. Maybe people do need to be a bit more skeptical. And maybe this lesson was an important one to learn. Let me know what you think in the comments. I worked with a group of gamers who helped me do research for this video, including the YouTuber Abisoft, who is also releasing a video about this most recent run. I know for a fact he is including many details I haven't mentioned myself, so if you want to learn even more, please go and check out his video as well. The link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching, you legends. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. Jesus, that was stupid. Stop lying on the internet, man. Uh, perhaps only if you're trying to tell jokes, because that's more or less like the nature of comedy. You embellish certain truths. But no, beside that, come on, you're gonna get find out. Stop it.